If you've been bouncing between five different AI tools just to ship one project, this will hit different. Slides in one app, code in another, design somewhere else, 3D in a separate tool, nothing talks to each other. Powerful, but exhausting. Today I'm testing GLM 4.7, now in early access on Z.ai. This isn't just a chat model, it's one system that can think, design, code, see, speak and even react to hand gestures all in one place. Getting started is simple, go to chat.z.ai, open the model selector, hit more models, scroll down and pick GLM 4.7. If you don't see it yet, they're whitelisting early access. You send the Gmail you registered with and they unlock it. Once you're in, you can just prompt like normal or flip on search for fresh info and deep think for multi-step reasoning. On top of that, you've got task modes and that's where this thing gets serious. First big showcase is AI Slides. This is a real upgrade from 4.6. Slide format accuracy jumped from about 50% to 91%, so your decks actually fit 16 by nine screens without weird stretching. Typography and colour harmony look way more designer made, less AI template. In generative mode, you describe the deck and style and it handles layout, fonts and colours. One example is a five page pitch deck for an organic coffee brand with warm earth tones and modern fonts. It actually feels like a real brand deck. In template mode, it adapts content into strict layouts, like a quarterly report focused on data visualisation that looks boardroom ready. If you're a developer, full stack mode is the standout. GLM 4.7 uses a skill-based architecture. Instead of wiring speech, vision and logic as separate APIs, you just describe what you want. There's a demo where someone builds a smart travel assistant web app. You upload a photo of a landmark. The model handles visual understanding, UI generation and travel logic in one flow. The UI isn't static either. Charts and elements are clickable and interactive, much closer to something you'd actually ship. Then there's Artifact, their multimodal creation sandbox. This blends real-world UI design, high-quality 3D and gesture interaction. Interfaces follow familiar Apple-style patterns, so they look like real apps, not mock-ups. On the 3D side, it generates coherent product models and environments with proper lighting and materials. The wild part is gesture control. One demo is a tarot card fortune experience. You open your palm and the deck fans out in a floating ring. Move your hand to highlight a card. Make a fist to select it and reveal the fortune. Same interaction layer powers things like an electronic photo wall and a 2026 New Year fortune experience. It feels closer to AR and VR than flat web apps. For creators and designers, Magic Design is built for posters and social visuals. It's especially strong with styles like Y2K and anime. One showcase is a Y2K poster with 10 standout 2025 films like Dune Part 3, The Batman Part 2 and Avengers Secret Wars. Bold outlines, half-tone dots, retro comic typography. Another is a Studio Ghibli-inspired healing recipe book with a soft illustrated cover. There's also a Stranger Things Season 5 timeline poster with neon glow, CRT scan lines and full upside down vibes. It's early access so it's not perfect, you'll still tweak layouts and push complex logic a bit, but the direction is clear. One unified model that covers slides, code, UI, 3D and visuals without feeling like five tools taped together. If you're into AI tools that actually collapse workflows instead of adding more tabs, GLM 4.7 is worth trying now on Z.ai. And if you want more deep dives like this, subscribe, turn on notifications and drop a comment on what you'd build with it.